In this video, we're going to go over the place value of numbers. We're going to give the place value of, a di of each digit, write in expanded form, and say the number. So we'll do these four examples, and then uh, examples five to seven. I'll just get you to write these numbers with digits. So let's start with example one, and say that number. What is that number? See if you can say that number. Is it 4,358, right? So um, beside each of these, we're just going to remind ourselves, look, this, this here is um, the eight is the unit, right? The five is, this is 58. So this is five tens is 50, right? So this is tens. So we have eight units, right? Five tens, and what does the three represent? Three is hundred, hundreds, right? And the four represents thousands, right? So we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so it's four thousand three hundred, you know, five tens and eight units, or we just say fifty-eight, right? How about this number? Can you name this number? Oh, sorry, we've got a sorry. Now we're going to um, so we've given the place value of each digit. Now we're going to write in expanded form. In expanded form, that is 4,000, okay, uh, uh, plus uh, 300, okay, plus uh, 50, plus 8. Does that make sense? And that'll all add up to, you know, 8, 5, 3, 4, 4,358. So 4,000, 300, uh, 5 tens, and 8 units. And say the number, we did that. Okay, so this one, can you say the number on this one, let's say? Can you say it? Okay, well, we'll get to that. Let's just write out the, let's just have a bit of practice, write out um, each of the uh, types of digits we have here. At the very end, this is units, right? So we have two units, right? How many, and what's this digit? This digit is a... That's a 10, isn't it? So we have zero tens. How about this digit? That's a 100, isn't it? So we have three hundreds. And the one represents, so units, tens, hundreds, is this thousands? Right? And the five represents what? Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, Ten thousands, okay, five ten thousands, right? And the nine represents hundred thousands, and what does the seven represent? Begins with the letter M. Millions, right? So we have seven millions, nine hundred thousands, five ten thousands, one thousand, uh, three hundreds, zero tens, and two units. Does that make sense? So an expanded form, of course, that would be seven zero 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 plus uh, nine hundred thousand. So this is seven million nine hundred thousand. What's the next one? Write down the next uh, number if we were to write this in expanded form. You got to use the five here. So it would be what? Please press pause in the video if you need more time. Okay. Make sure to use the pause button to give yourself more time, if needed. So the five represents ten thousand. So that would be fifty thousand. Okay. So seven million nine hundred thousand. Uh, 50,000 and what does the one represent? 1,000? Yep, 1,000. And the three represents 300 and zero tens. How are you going to represent zero tens? Just leave it out, right? And then we could just do two units down here. So we could just write it like that. Plus, 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 plus. Right? So that's expanded form. And of course if we were to add all this up you would get you should get two units, zero tens, three hundreds, one thousand, five ten thousands, 
900,000 and 7 million. So it should, you got to check it, make sure your expanded form uh, adds up to give the number that you started with. So let's say the number now. Say the number. 7 million 951 thousand and three hundred two right seven million nine hundred fifty one thousand and three hundred two okay now so um do 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 we need to write out our place value chart I guess we should shouldn't we do a place value of numbers chart. So we'll use this one as an example. Okay. We've got five two. We've got this number here. Okay. And we're going to do a chart. So I'm just going to turn this sideways. And and you press pause in the video if you need more time to write this out now. Okay. So the number is uh, five two three eight one four nine seven. I'm going to put it sideways and write out the units. So we're going to keep this, write this, do this slowly and keep this as a chart for future reference. So the last digit here is units, right? And then we have um, a nine for the tens. We have tens here, right? And what type of digit is this? So see if you can write them all out. Press pause if you need more time. Press pause if you'd like to do it by yourself and then check the video. Right, so the four is hundreds, right? The one is thousands. Right, so what you can do is you can you can uh, race me. You can try and do it faster than me, and then fast forward the video, or you can uh, you know press pause and try and do it, and then fast forward the video and check your answer. That's another way of using these videos. You don't have to just follow me, or you can just follow me, whichever you prefer. So and then we have the eight is ten thousands, right? And the three represents what? So units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, right? And then the two represents what comes after hundred thousands? Is it millions? Yep. And after millions, what do we have? So it's units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Take a guess. How about ten millions, right? It's like ten thousands, you know, so ten millions, right? So we've this is our place value of numbers chart so far. We go units, tens, hundreds, all these, and so we'll just kind of keep this for future reference if needed. I guess we could put commas in here. So in any case, uh, I guess we could um, put this like this, say, line it up with this number so we can see what everything is, and let's write this in expanded form. So see if you can write this number in expanded form. You're going to start with uh, the 10 millions, right? The 5. So what's that going to look like? Well, it'll be 5 will be here, and then everything else will be zeroed out, right? And that is 5, 10 millions. Or what's another way of saying this? What's another way of saying 5, 10 millions? 50 million? Yeah, 50 million, right? Now the two is what type of unit? What type of uh, value? Two is a million. So you got two millions, right? So how do you write that in expanded form? Would you put 
the two here, right? And then everything else is zeroed out, right? So 50 million, 2 million, and then do the rest. Press pause and see if you can do the rest uh, by yourself and then check the video. So please press pause right now and write the rest out in expanded form and then I'll do it really quickly, okay? Okay, I hope you press pause. I'm going to do it quickly now. The three is 100,000, so that would be 300,000. The eight is 10,000, so 80,000. The one is thousands, so 1,000. The four is hundreds, so 400. The nine is tens, so 90. And the seven is units, so seven, right? And if we add all that up, it should give the number at the top. So we only have, we have seven units, nine tens, four hundreds, comma, then one thousand, eight ten thousands, three hundred thousands, two millions, and five ten millions. So now say this number. Can you say what this number is? Say that number. 52,381,497, right? 52,381,497, okay? So, um, here's example four, and that's even longer, okay? So write down this number and, you know, Put your chart up there and see, do, do we have more to add on to this? Okay, so write out this number now, 9034700002. And this one's going even further, isn't it? So we have to, we, we've got the units, tens, hundreds, don't we? Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. So what comes after ten million? That's what we need here. Press pause if you need more time, by the way. So this zero represents what? Oops. This zero here represents, so we've got millions, 10 millions. What comes after 10 millions? Look at the thousands. Thousands, 10 thousands, 100 thousands. So that has to be millions, 10 millions. 100 millions, right? Now, then there's a comma, and what comes after that? What's more than 100 million? Nine billion, or billions, right? So I think that's pretty much as far as we'll go, up to the billions, right? So write this in expanded form, and then say the number. Press pause if you need more time. Press pause and write this in expanded form. And then check the video and see if you get the same answer as me. So please press pause and write this in expanded form yourself and then I'll do it. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be like a nine and then a whole bunch of zeros, right? And don't forget your commas, they help you keep track of uh, of the, the digits. Okay, what's the next one going to be? Look, this is a zero, so we're going to leave that alone, right? And we'll just go to here and write the three here and the everything else will be zeroed out, right? So this is nine billion. This is three ten millions. How else can you say three ten millions? Thirty million, right? And finish it off, press pause and do the rest. Press pause and do the rest of it. four millions, right? If you have six zeros, you have a million, okay? A digit with six zeros is a million. See if you can remember remember that. Because it goes thousands, millions. And then uh, nine zeros, or three sets of three, that's billions. So we've got thousands, millions, billions. That's a good thing to learn. Okay, seven, hundred thousand right what next zero ten thousands 
zero thousands, zero hundreds, zero tens, and how many units? Two. So you just put two there, right? Now if you add all that up, it should be the same as the number at the top. So add them all up and see if it's the same thing. Zero zero zero, zero two zero 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 comma all zeros all zeros zero 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 seven comma all zeros and four zero and three and then just zero by itself comma nine same thing now see if you can say that number what is that number see if you can say it nine watts nine billion right and then we've got three ten millions four millions so this would be so nine billion is that thirty four million so nine billion thirty four million seven hundred thousand two right okay now example five six seven I just want you to write down the number write this number with digit so three million four hundred thousand forty two forty one rather hmm so uh, how are we going to go about this well I guess you could do expanded form if you like you could I suppose you could use your chart if you get stuck right um, three million Do 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 do. So we've got um, millions, hundred millions, or sorry, hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, right? And then we have thousand or hundreds, tens, units, right? So four hundred thousand. Where's the hundred thousand spot? Hundred thousand spot is there. This is ten thousands, we don't have any of those. Do we have any thousands? No. Nope. And do we have any hundreds? Because it just says forty one there, right? So no hundreds and forty one. See that? So you can kinda put a space for each uh, place plate for each digit a placeholder. So fifty two million two thousand seven hundred. Again, if you want, use your chart. Um, I'm gonna try and remember it. So let's see. I got ten millions, millions. So fifty two million is the first thing. And then two thousand seven hundred. So it goes hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands hundreds, tens, units, right? See if you can fill in the digits. Do we have any hundred thousands? No. Do we have any ten thousands? No. Do we have thousands? We have two thousand. Do we have any hundreds? We have seven hundred, so seven goes there do we have any tens no tens do we have any units no units right so press pause and see if you can figure this guy out four billion one million five hundred five and this five here is, is units so it's five hundred five if you know what I mean anyway. okay so press pause and do it then I'll do it okay so it looks like we're starting with billions so four billion right after billion comes hundred millions ten millions millions right and what do we have as regards millions one million right so do we have any hundred millions no hundred millions and again if you want to use your chart use your chart right that might help so no hundred millions no ten millions one million right what comes after what comes next? Press pause and finish the rest. Okay, I'll do it now. Uh hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, right? 
Any hundred thousands? Nope. Any ten thousands? Nope. Any thousands? No thousands. Any hundreds, tens, or units? Five hundred, five. Any hundreds? Five hundreds. Any tens? There's actually no tens there. And there is five units, right? So that's the full number there.